when I first fell in love with music, I was probably about five or six years old. And uh, music runs in my family. So my sister, who's also a musician, a piano player, and a clarinetist, was learning some pop tunes on the piano from a band called Toto and the Police. And I really liked that. And then she started playing the Beatles. And as soon as I heard the Beatles, uh, it was Sgt. Pepper's, the album Sgt. Pepper's. I was in love with music from then on. Uh, didn't take much. <laughs> Uh, I have several, uh, several influential musical figures. Uh, first and foremost, I think my parents because they really supported me and gave me every tool possible to be successful. Uh, several of my percussion t teachers, Dr. Michael Williams, Rick Dior, um, and then others like Keith Aleo, Ed So, Christopher Dean, and Mark Ford. Uh, so I've been fortunate to have a lot of great percussion teachers. And then of course, I can't name them all, but from the Beatles, Led Zeppelin, to John Coltrane and Miles Davis, to Igor Stravinsky, I mean, a lot. I think it would be Beethoven, because I'd like to pick his brain about not only how he could do so much with so, so little as far as motivic development, I always was amazed by that, and I like how he broke rules and his later music was so dramatically different and what inspired him to do that. And just be around somebody that gifted who in his later career was almost completely deaf yet could write some of the best symphonies in the world. I think it was pretty amazing. Uh, one of the best opportunities is actually teaching at Utah State. Um, I love my colleagues and I love the students. It's absolutely beautiful in Logan. I, I still wake up every day kind of shocked that I live in this beautiful mountain valley. And, uh, but it's, it's been a great opportunity. Uh, it's a very supportive school and I have some of the best students there that I've ever taught. So it, it's been a fantastic opportunity. Definitely a good work ethic. Uh, you have to constantly work hard to better your craft. The other is to listen, not only to a lot of music, but to your teachers, to your peers, uh, and be open-minded with that. And you will learn so much by just listening. I, I think it would be the Beatles, because I think the I mean, it's so hard, but their, their uh, I guess, um, transformation over their career, they're just so diverse in their musical styles, uh, how interesting their music is, also beautiful, and their, their lyric topics, I mean, I guess they would be all-encompassing as far as musical styles. That's a very difficult question. <laughs> Uh, as far as education and background, uh, my undergrad was at, at Winthrop University, okay. uh, suburb of Charlotte. Uh, I went there, it was small, but uh, the percussion teacher there, Michael Williams, was incredible. And I was studying with a, a drummer named Rick Dior in Charlotte, who's also uh, an incredible teacher and musician. And I got such a phenomenal education from those two. I then went to the University of Miami and got my master's in percussion performance. Also um, doubled in jazz there. Uh, after Miami, I went back to South Carolina. Actually, I got a job teaching percussion at Rock Hill High School. So I taught there as percussionist for the high school and the two feeding middle schools and also as an adjunct at Winther where I went to undergrad. And after five years, I decided to go back and get my doctorate. And I was accepted to the University of North Texas. And I was a teaching fellow there for three years and completed my doctorate in 2009. So, and then after North Texas, got the job out here in Utah. <laughs> <laughs>